he also pulled off a 105-102 overtime win over the Dallas Wings, courtesy of this crazy shot by Jewel Lloyd. How about the St. Peter's Peacocks as they make it to their first Elite Eight appearance as I welcome to this episode of the But That Sports Talk. Ryan Walker, I know you watched a lot of the games. Well, not really a lot of the games, but you've seen the way that they progressed throughout this tournament. You was happy when they took out Kentucky. And now, I want your thoughts on how they got through the next two rounds. Yeah, that block by Brittany Griner was just so ridiculous as I welcome you to this episode oh of the God. But That Sports Talk. Before we get to everything else you want to talk about, Ryan Walker, let me just ask this one question. You, Asia Wilson, you're going for a layup that would have tied game five of the WBA semifinals. Would you be crying like Asia Wilson was in the press conference? Welcome to another episode of Nothing But That Sports Talk. I'm Rafiq Louisan, alongside my special guest of this town, Monica McNutt. You see her on MSG, you see her on ACC Network, and you see her kill it in Georgetown. Taking them all the way to the Sweet 16. How does it feel like for you? It's just, it's just a lot that you've done during the past <laughs> decade as a sports person. Okay, let's recap the Thanksgiving games for the NFL as we saw the, the Lions and the, the Cowboys lose in late second field goals and then Buffalo smoked the New Orleans Saints. So, um, thoughts, Ryan? Oh, Jesus. Which team do you think had the worst loss on Turkey Day? I got you with another episode of Nothing But That Sports Talk. Rafiq Lewis on Ryan Walker, Shantae on hand, and then we got the owner of Dykeman Park, or should I say the CEO of Dykeman Park, Ken yep. Stevens. Welcome to the show, my guy. Kalia Copper really pointed out at the press conference <clears throat> a couple of days ago. She pointed out, you don't think about the regular season when the playoffs come. You took right. out, you took out Enrique Gouwawi's Dallas Wings in her first playoff game in her WBA career. You look out the Minnesota Lakes, a team that Cass Parker is very familiar with during her first two finals appearances. You upset the team that that Cass Parker lost to twice and, and the Chicago Sky lost against without her. And now you defeat the Phoenix Mercury, avenging them from the loss in 2014. You remember the one, Tarika, when they got swept up in Diana Taurasi at that cost three point play. You remember that one. The Nets are really the projected winners of the 2022 NBA Finals anyway. But it's yeah. just a matter of it, it can stay healthy. Because last year, the Nets weren't healthy all year, but yet they finished with the second best record in the Eastern Conference. James Harden came on the team, had an incredible debut for the Brooklyn Nets. And, and when, it, when that trade with James Harden happened, I literally got on the phone with my friend saying, James Harden got traded. Blew, it blew everybody's mind, let alone what he did for the Nets, the game winner against the Phoenix Suns, the way he carried the team when Kevin Durant was out for two months. This man is doing everything that he did when he played for the Houston Rockets. I know we kind of jump up to the HBCU topic, but this is very interesting to talk about because Howard being the HBCU school that it is, they got to see an NCAA tournament win, something that they probably would never happen if they didn't put the first four for the women's side. So right. they should be glad. You want to know who else should be glad? St. Peter's upset in Kentucky. Absolutely. Who would have thought? The biggest bracket buster up until this point. Thoughts. Well, Look at Auburn. So, so, Did we think that Auburn was going to be the one seed? Nobody talked it's about that. But yes. They, yeah, they've had a lot of years when they were number one team they or they had number two seeds. And they faced a lot of upsets. So he had a lot of positive right. moments. They, but they did face some upsets. Like they were, when, they, when they were taken out by VCU in the 2007 Arch Madness tournament, it, or two years later after barely surviving in, in Vermont, they got taken out by West Virginia. Oh, yeah, there's also a national yeah. championship wins they, get, they got against Butler. It will be the first of back to back losses by the Butler Bulldogs. I mean, obviously, they couldn't really beat nobody. But, but let's not forget the fact that but, oh, there's also one negative moment where they couldn't even hold their own against Tyler Hansbro. After Tyler Hansbro's college basketball career in North Carolina, he did all right in the NBA, but nowhere to be found. Hey, you, you, you got to put in a lot of work. And Ryan talked about this when we, when we had Mike Larry on the show. Like, like if you, you like us New Yorkers, we go hard when it comes to street ball and announcing. If you're not putting in the work and you're not doing a good job, you're going to get booed like crazy. If Julius Randle is having a more underwhelmed performance than he had last year, people are going to boo you. That thumbs down yeah. that you did is not going to make the boos go away. You got to put in the work. 
not the four points that we saw in that blowout loss against the New Orleans Pelicans, in, which we will talk to, to later in the show. But it's just, you got to put in that effort. And for what I've seen when I came my watch with Kadonsi, you were no joke. But you know what? The way Destiny Henderson balled out all the way up until the national championship, mm-hmm. she, she should be glad she even drafted to the WBA at all. I mean, seriously. You, you only it's like literally 144 spots in WNBA. If Ryan Ruko touched up on this on the broadcast, it's very tough to get into his league. What how in the top of the third, you're down by two runs. Aaron Judge decides to get waved around third. Third base. Hit. You see the, the, the third baseman sees the ball get off the green monster. Oh my god. And you, and you wave around third and get hit and, and only for him to get tagged out. Come on. The third baseman knows that they're in that position. And I can tell, growing up a Kansas Jayhawk fan, you might see a lot of ups and downs um, from when they, when they when that championship run in 2008, where you took out Stephen Curry's Davidson. Ooh, Davidson that game was you so smoked stressful. North Carolina. And oh yeah, that, that iconic clutch shot by Mario Chalmers to take out Memphis. What to not only for but they smoked Memphis in overtime as well. And they were I, the get, favorite- I get chills. I get chills just even thinking about that game. When you when you go like literally on this hiatus, thanks to the pandemic, or you can really go back at some of the most top moments that you witnessed in all these football parks, including Gersh Park. I remember oh, man. a video clip of Cha-Ching doing a play by play of that crazy buzzer beater all the way in Gersh Park and Little Boulevard. In the losses that they did had, they got they got smoked by the Chicago Sky two days in a row. They got smoked by the Mercury two days in a row. The one game where they did to play Sue Bird and, 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 and Stewart, they got smoked to the Barclays Center. And even though they came out high at the beginning of that game when they had to play down in Washington, they couldn't even protect that lead. And that just shows that the, the defense is just so passive on the inside trying to guard man Stewart. I was like, oh, crud. I mean, all you can do just pray to God they miss. I mean, Sabrina, that's who got to that hot start, but the hot, but that, that tends to cool off a lot. We saw more Sabrina that's who than we did at the NBA bubble, to be fair. I mean, she had she had one of the most memorable shots to open up the season against the Indiana Fury. I'm actually glad it did nothing because you don't want to pick up anybody where you're basically ruining the team. Like how when the Mets made that Marcus Stroman trade and they attempted to trade Noah Syndergaard, but you know what, sticking with the Yankees, they were smart for not making those trades. They were pretty banged up all season. The pinstripes are back in action tonight against the White Sox. With the Students coming out of the sports department at WV also said it's inspiring because so many of the country's best-known sports broadcasters are products of the station. Many former students joined WV to gain experience in beat reporting, blind play-by-play, and post-game analysis to become a success in sports casting. The professional broadcasters who came out of FUV have really set that bar high. Some of America's best-known sportscasters and sports analysts star in their careers right here in these halls. Let's start off with why you got into doing sports talk in, in the media field. When you look back at all the players you guarded, what was the toughest competition for you during your playing days? WV music director Russ Boris says this station is known for music discovery. When you hear music discovery, what goes through your mind? Why don't we address another elephant in the room as this week will be the release of NBA 2K21, well, the next-gen version. Yeah, as the re-release. The, as the game is being developed, how excited are you with this compared to the current gen? Why don't you talk about like how the new supporting skills that you gained helps you with your entertainment career? This is about frequent nothing but that sports talk. I just want to ask you, what are some of the stuff that you guys worked on in practice as far as late game executions and preventing teams from hanging around? Yeah, it's good to have you back. And I understand that you've been observing basketball like crazy throughout this year. And you just had your first season back at Rucker Park this past summer. Like, what is the feeling of being able to get back to MC basketball games again? When you're working in the NBA, like, was there any constructive criticism that you gained when doing the tasks that you were doing? 